All right, welcome to Beard of Breakers. My name is Joe, and I am joined along with. Dr. Himes here. <laughs> That's right. We have Himes on the phone. I turned him up a little bit just so he can hear him, but uh, he is following the state guidelines for another week by socially distancing. So thank you, Himes, for being such a great citizen of the state of Ohio. I go exactly by the state's rules. That's right. Um, so there you have it. Uh, we are Bearder Breakers, and tonight we are breaking Fantasy Sports Breaks, Baseball Edition. Um, this is our second time around with it. The first time, I think we had a lot of fun. It's a um, unique product. It's a repack product. Um, for those of you that are joining us again, you, you're fully aware of it, and and you're also aware that this is the the left stack as as the first break chose the right stack. Uh, and I don't know if that's right or wrong. It's just right or left. Um, we had some uh, great hits though. After oh yeah, I the, I um. Uh, no, we didn't get the Acuna. Oh, we no, we had a Soto Vlad. Soto, Soto, that's right. Soto. But um, yeah, I shared all those hits throughout the week this week. Uh, just because there were so many of them, I just wanted to make sure they got their um you know, deserved applause, if you will. So that was what was in store last week, and I cannot wait for what we have in store this week. So um, thank you, everybody, for joining us. And to say it out loud, in case you guys aren't already doing so, go ahead and like and follow us on all our social media pages, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. So there are Twitch panels. If you're watching on a PC or a laptop, uh, those quick links to go wherever you want to very quick or rapidly are right there for you at your convenience. Um, but if you want to do it after the break, you know, by all means, we encourage you to do that. And you can essentially find us on all those social media platforms by just searching Bearded Breakers or, or the hashtag Bearded Breakers. So there you go. Um, next, let's run through the eBay username list for this break. And I will switch everybody over on screen. All right. Um, disregard the team logos missing. <laughs> uh, I noticed this earlier, and I was just, I don't want to call myself lazy, but I just didn't feel like fixing it, if you will. Uh, they're, they're attached to URLs, so if like the URL gets weird, sometimes they'll just go away. But then the following week, they'll come back. So if, if we've got any Excel gurus out there that know how to remedy that, just send me an email. And I'll glad gladly do that. But um, I'll go ahead and list everybody's eBay usernames in alphabetical city order as always. Um, I will try to pronunciate it. And if I do a terrible job, I'll recognize it and probably get laughed at by my partner. And then I'll spell it out and probably give you a nickname. So that's the um, scenario there. I believe it, yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, starting off with Arizona Diamondbacks going to Rub3N520. Braves, Lang 31, Orioles, Sem R 3036, Red Sox, Cursa 76, Cubs, I Go Cubs Go. Welcome back, uh, I Go Cubs Go. I always have to say it. I'm not speaking for myself as I am a beloved Tribe fan, but. Um, you, did, you did buy a Schwarber jersey. No, that's. That was a mistake. It was an error on the seller's part, not me. I wanted a Lindor, and they sent me a Schwarber. So, you know, common mistake. It's easy to screw up, but we'll, we got past it. But Himes likes to relive it. <laughs> uh, so, again, Cubs, I go, Cubs go. Welcome to the break again. Um, White Sox, Sem R-3036. Uh, Reds, M Lat 3 0. Indians, Lang 3 1. Rockies, I Go Cubs Go. Uh, Tigers, Ma M Lat 3 0. Astros, H T O 5 5. Royals, Patrick and Nora. Um, Angels, T J H 3 2 7 7 9. Dodgers, Mr. Kirby's Cards. Marlins, Air Chip. Brewers, David dash M dash 21. Twins, Dusty 3111. Mets, David dash M dash 21. 
Uh, Yankees, Adam, 103020 Golf. Athletics, Sue Dark. Phillies, M Lat 30. Pirates, N D Sup, dash 90. Padres, S U Dark. Giants, our Super Bowl coach, uh, 30. Times, could you do me a little background research on who the Super Bowl coach was of Super Bowl 30? Thirties is probably like in the eighties, maybe. I'm thinking the Kansas City Chiefs, but I could be wrong. Sorry for the delay. Uh, Dallas Cowboys. It was 1996. Oh wow! I think if I'm not, is that Barry Switzer? I think was the coach. All right, Barry Switzer. Welcome to the break. It was Barry Switzer. When was Parcells the coach? Uh, Parcells was later. Jimmy Johnson was before Barry Switzer. Wow. All right. So, uh, Super Bowl coach 30 with the, um, Giants, uh, also known as Barry, the head coach of the oh. Cowboys of Super Bowl 30. Welcome to the break. Fact, and I know we spent way too much on Super Bowl 30. Yeah. If our, the MVP of that game was voted like the worst MVP of any Super Bowl it was Larry Brown, quarterback. He only won it because he had a pick six. I think he actually had a few picks that game, but voted the worst MVP in Super Bowl history. All right. Well, thank you very much for that information. And I agree with you, Himes. We are taking too long on Super Bowl 30. So moving along, um, Mariners, MD Copeland. Cardinals, Danny Boy, 133. Rays, Rancid, Milky Face. Rangers, MD Sup-90. Blue Jays, SU Dark. And last but not least, we have the Nationals, Patrick and Nora. So there you go, everybody that is joining us for this break. Your eBay names are listed there for your reference, as I am going to bring us full screen. Slide me over to the Twitch chat, which I have not seen anybody comment yet in the Twitch chat. Himes, a little hype. Everybody's dead today. There's a big storm coming in right now with us. We're getting hit over here. I, I, people just aren't hyped today. I don't get it. All right. There's well, five people in here. Where's Valky then? Valky's been MIA lately. Maybe we're just, um, you know, a little discouraged by the protocols that MLB uh, leaked or released today. <laughs> um, what exactly were they? I wasn't, I'm not going to lie. Well, I didn't read the article. Well, uh, We'll touch base on it here in a second, but let me just make sure my Twitch page is up. All right, so I am sliding over. All right, we will get to the protocols here in a second. Let me just go ahead and explain what we got going here. We have a repack product, which has a Bible verse on the back. For those of you that are religious, you're welcome to take that and do whatever with. <laughs> we read it last time, but I don't think we need to this time. And yeah, um, we'll try, to, we'll probably do the same approach we did last week. And that's kind of just, you know, touching all the bases kind of in a, um, a weird way, but, um, it's got two hits quote unquote that are encased. Um, and then there could potentially be more hits in the two packs that are also provided. But, um, what we'll do with the hits first box, we'll show the first two hits first, second box, we'll do hit pack, hit pack. And then the last box, we'll do the two packs and then the two hits, um, kind of just giving you all different approaches at each box um, for your own enjoyment. So it worked well last week, and I'll do my best again this week, throwing a little dud card to to hide the the hit until everybody is able to fully enjoy it. Um, so yeah, here we go. It's Fancy Sports Breaks number one box of three. As I am breaking the seal. Taking the shrink wrap off. And they do a great job packing, I, w I must admit. It's a, it's a weird product because, like, it's not Panini or Tops, but it's a great product. I mean, it has obviously Panini Tops 
potentially even leaf I, I would assume an upper deck if it's old enough but uh yeah it is it is unique to say the least and and honestly i get super stoked about it just because there's no checklist to follow it's just you know goodies thrown together that um is meant for primarily breaking uh, you can obviously also buy a box for your own good but uh Ah, that's another point to bring up, Heim. So, yes, last week we found out, not, not necessarily the hard way, but um, firsthand, I should say, that uh, there is a good chance that there are um, college cards. So what we did was we double-checked front and back first just to make sure if it did list the team on there that we would um, sort it appropriately with whatever team is listed. Um, if there was no team on the card with that college card, what we did on the back back end of the break was – I was trying to do it during, but uh, most of it happened at the end. Um, try to figure out what player this team got, or this what what team drafted this player, and essentially give it to the rightful owner. So um, that's the best approach we have with it, considering that this is a MLB break, and we don't have a slot for any college teams or even any minor league teams. Okay, so. On the top, looks like we have a uh, 2017 Panini Chronicles. But as I said, we're going to go through the hits first in box number one. So let me slide this out and start us off with a gorgeous National Treasures on-card autograph of Garrett Hampson for the Rockies. Numbered to 25. And that go, has go. a triple swatch, um, stitching in each, and also, well, I guess, wow, that's one, that one's got black even in it. So you got one, two, three, four colors on the right one, and then you got uh, three colors on the left, and the top has two. So great looking card for Go Cubs Go. Congratulations. And that is a beauty from 2019. I'm not sure if that's Garrett Hampson's rookie year or not. It doesn't have a, a rookie card logo on it. Uh, enclosed player used material and autograph guaranteed by Panini. So there you go. Hit number one. Going to the Rockies. Congratulations. And hit number two coming up. Oh, oh, oh wow. A flawless Cody Bellinger. On-card autograph, numbered to 25. Dodgers, you are happy about that. Mr. Kirby's cards. Mr. Kirby's cards, congratulations. This is 2017 Panini Flawless of Cody Bellinger. Um, if I'm not mistaken, did he win MVP last year, Himes? Good. Put that question on me. You can fact check me. The Garrett Hampton isn't a rookie. Uh, the Cody Bellinger. Himes is like a human Google. <laughs> now that he has this fancy dancy computer to play with. I know. Give me a second, I'll figure that out. Bellinger, also known as Belly. Mike Trout and Cody Bellinger. MVP is a 2019. Oh, he's an MVP? So, okay. Did he win rookie of the year as well? No, no, no. It was two years ago, which or was it was it two years ago? I don't even know. Another rookie rookie question, I guess, because this card doesn't have the RC on it either. And 2017 so, is yeah, 17, he was rookie of the year, yeah. NLCS MVP in 2018, gold glove winner, silver slugger. That's well, a 2017, so I'm gonna go and take a wild guess that this should be a rookie card, but it does not have that RC on the card. Wow. Yeah, that's weird. That's a sweet, uh, sweet card, though. Yeah. Congratulations to Mr. Kirby's cards. I would assume you are enthusiastic about that. Um, all right. So we have our two packs, the 2017 Panini Chronicles, and also a Donruss Optic. I'm trying to see if there's a year on it. 2016. So a 2016, 2017 pack for us. Let's dive into the Chronicles first. Good luck to you all. Maybe. 
Cody played in the Little League World Series. Fun fact. Got a U Darvish. Ooh, we got a thick card even. Nice. Might have a third hit here. I do my best not to show it off until we want to. Dustin Fowler, lumber support. Go from the back on this one as well. Corey Dickerson. Got a cool looking jersey there. And we got a Bregman. But I'm going to do a flip. And oh, they fooled us. But that is a gold standard. Oh, wow, nice. A gold standard Albert numbered to 269. And then we also have a Bregman rookie card uh, prism, which is a nice hit if you ask me. Uh, very clean looking Bregman card and also a Albert Pujols, which I was expecting or at least a relic, if not an autograph. But uh, we're happy with that, I guess. Going to the Angels. If they don't play baseball, is there a happier team than the Houston Astros? No, no, because their their um, shame tour got canceled. And I think all those suspensions are counting for this year. So <laughs> Hench, Hench, and uh, what's his name? Um, Cora. Yeah. So I they. I was thinking. I thought MLB came out and said any suspensions will still count for this year. Oh, that's that's such bogus that they could get potentially essentially off the hook. The whole scandal was mishandled by MLB, but that's another story. All right, so we got a 2016 Donruss Optic, and I'm just going to go ahead and boo! Boo! That's Jonathan LaCroix. <laughs> Being from Cleveland, we are not a fan of him. Every time he uh, visits, we boo him since he rejected his trade coming here. But uh, hindsight is 2020, as I am fairly happy that we didn't give up uh, any players for that lack of bat. So, LaCroix. And he got, he got booted in the first round that year, so good. Uh, Jeff Samargia. I feel like that guy's been in the league forever. Former Notre Dame tight end. I'm going to go from the back just in case this is a hit or not. I'm not sure how they stack them, but we have a Don Russ Diamond Kings. Prince Fielder for the Texas Rangers, not numbered. Again, they don't have uh, the, the the logos in the Panini products, so got a very big blue hat on Prince Fielder. Oh, wow. That is a nice refractor, I'm going to go ahead and guess, of George Solar, Chicago Cubbies. A nice looking card. All right, box number one is in the books and we are on our way to box number two. Um, but yeah, just to go back times on the protocols that they um, are discussing, I guess at least, I'm not sure if they're actually gonna happen or not, but there's no um, high-fiving, fist bumps, sp spitting or chewing, no mascots. Um, I guess you're allowed to um, be out in the field without a mask on, for if that's good news or not. Um, spitting, spitting and chewing, I get. I guess it's, I feel like it's gonna be hard to stop them from high pot. Like, yeah, and they don't want um, managers exchanging the uh, lineup cards at the beginning of the game. And there was more. There's even more than that. I mean, there's something else like showering after the game, not, not to do it at the facility. Um, traveling teams don't eat at restaurants and take Ubers or something like that. So they have it very thorough protocol outlined um, for baseball to get started back again, which it's, there's, where's the happy medium, I guess. I mean, obviously safety's, you know, important and a, and a top concern, but uh, I don't know. At what point do you start ruining almost the like the integrity of the sport even by starting up maybe too soon um, if you have to go through all those protocols to do so? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, Korea's playing, or is that the KOB or whatever? Yeah. I 
I mean, they've been just fine. So I don't see that being any issues. And I get off. I just think, like, high fire is going to be hard if it's your own team. I, I don't know. Yeah. That will be hard. It's going to be. Else I think makes sense, if but. that, you know, if all those rules do go into effect and we get the season underway and whatnot, like, I will be, you know, almost primarily focused on and interested in and how they're going to police a lot of the rules. The biggest, the bigger issue, I don't think any of the players care about that. The issue is going to be pay. It's yeah, the, the yeah, the pay is a struggle that's internally. What, that's, that's where they care. I get it, but I don't I get it too, but at the same token, you know. It's from just a, like I said the other day. If, if you're a salaried worker and you took half the year off, I would only expect to get half my salary. Right. And and I understand they're frustrated and they want equal or fair pay, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just what is fair at this point in a world where we have you know twenty percent unemployment and and you have millionaires and billionaires arguing uh, over. Let's not, not get into a political. It's not political at all. That's just you know the going rate, if you will. Yeah, but that's because of a virus, not because people want to like. Yeah, I wonder. That's a good. You maybe look that up. Himes is uh all the. I guess that's probably a factor into it um, from a facility perspective, for sure. I don't know from an administrative perspective or even player perspective, if they are classified as unemployed during this time. All right, let me uh, get moving on box two. We have another 2017 Panini Chronicles. Um, and like I said at the beginning, uh, I want to show one hit, then one pack, one hit, one pack in box two. So um, we will do our best to take this blank card and slide it over and try not to. Well, maybe we'll go with the second one just because I can't see. Wow. A Wander Franco for the Tampa Bay Rays. Jesus Christ. An orange. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm I'm shocked. I'm shocked that they got a Wander Franco in this, but um wow. It's graded. It is graded. PSA nine, two thousand nineteen Bowman with the orange parallel making it out of twenty five. Wow. R- rancid milky face. Rancid milky face, there you go on a Wander Franco. It's also an interesting name. Yeah, um, he was in our break, I think, uh, last week as well. Congratulations, Wander Franco. Highly, highly um, expected prospect coming into majors. Um, all of his cards are... Comments about what he's going to want paid. Yeah, and all of his cards are getting paid, if you will. Um, so, congratulations. This is awesome. Great, great card to pull. Um, and if he does end up being... Um, up there in ranks with Trout and Bellinger and Griffey and all that. I mean, this card can only go up in value from from what is going uh, currently today at. Wow. I love the graded cards in this product. All right. Let me flip over the back just so I don't reveal the hit. Oh, there we go. We got a 2020... Uh, Tops Gypsy Queen. We broke this, I think, four or five times already. Highly familiar with this product. Uh, Got a little resin. Jose Ramirez. A Ray for the Diamondbacks. Trey Mancini, he's battling, um, I believe, colon cancer, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully he gets well soon. He was competing for the Rookie of the Year when he was a rookie, so um, not a bad ball player. Hope he is on the field soon. Oh, nice. Himes, Himes loves when I try to pronunciate this. Uh, I gotta it back a little. Sorry. Uh, I have short arms. I think that's the problem. I, I have short arms. Uh, we have a uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Wheel of Fortune, and like I said, Himes makes fun of me for the way I pr- uh, say tarot. 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 There you go. Tarot card. Um, it's a cool card. Garrett Cole in a Yankees uniform. A Starling Castro in a Nationals uniform. That poor guy. He's gone. 
about everywhere that he probably doesn't want to be. And Cody Bellinger making another appearance. So there you go. 2020 pack. And, it's good. and and not to you know speak too soon and knock on wood we haven't gotten any uh what do you want to call it minor league or college cards all right so on to hit number two of box two and it is a graded bgs also known as beckett so good luck as i'm gonna just do one of these Wow. A Bowman Chrome Mini of Alex Bregman. That is the second Bregman rookie card of this break. Astros, hope you are a Bregman fan. Rated a Gem Mint 9.5. Mini. HTO, 55. HTO, congratulations on your hit. A 2017 rookie card for Alex Bregman of the Houston Astros. I'm looking to see if it's out of anything. It does not seem to be, but I know for a fact the minis are definitely a short print of some sort. What year is it? 2017. Nice looking card for your Astros. And we'll rip into pack number two. Another um, 2017 Panini Chronicles. If I can get my fingernail in here, as I do not miss breaking Panini products for this exact reason. Ah, uh, I think we got a dud card. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that. uh, Mike Trout, Chronicles. And Andrew McCutcheon, Chronicles. And I was right, a dud card. I don't like that. A Adam Jones for the Baltimore Oreos. Uh, Oreos, yeah. Orioles. <laughs> Um, number two, 25, Adam Jones. Back. And Miguel Sano. And Manny Machado pulled his autograph last weekend. All right. And on to the last box of the break. This one feels kind of Kind of really thick. Really, real, real thick. thick. That's real a thick th pack. Are you there, Himes? Yeah. Oh, it sounded like you it sounded like you muted yourself. There was no. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Ikea, Ikea is open. Wow. Nice. Oh. It wouldn't be... Well, I guess that's regular Bowman, it looks like. So say, it wouldn't be a Fantasy Sports Breaks if we didn't have any minor league cards, but looks like a standard gotta, Bowman. Gotta at least get one of them. We shall see. Um, all right. So, just to remind everybody... Gonna do my best to hide the two hits for last. So that means we will go through the packs first. And it looks like we have one graded card and one not. So let's slide this over and I'm gonna put another one just so I don't personally see 
the head either. There. All right. So we'll start off with the 2015 Bowman. Got 32 oh, cards 32 in this pack. Cards. Yeah. Got a Runsney Castillo. Man, that was a big name that, that I don't think he ever really panned out. And then Carlos Rondon, which not a bad pitcher. Not a not a absolute stud, but he's he's fair. He's pretty good. Alright, let's go through it. We have a Corey Spar Spaniger. <laughs> Can't really see it because it's reflective for the Padres. A Devin Mascaro for the Reds. He's in the league now. An Anthony Arnudando, rookie card for the Red Sox. Anthony Rizzo, now there's a name I know. Cubbies. Kevin Kramer. Brad Zegler, the D-backs. Uh, Jed Garko, for the Padres. Zach Greinke, for the Dodgers. George Soler, rookie card for the Cubs. Raphael Devers, Bowman Chrome. That is clean. Obviously a great player. Nice card for the Red Sox. A Matt Andres, or Andresi. I always um, have a running joke with a guy in our old man fantasy league that every time I picked him up, I would get harassed by um, another manager asking if that's um salad dressing as a last name <laughs> I don't know why that sticks in my head but it does a Jake Bowers for the Padres now a Cleveland Indian <laughs> the greatest uh, outfielder country a Jarlin Garcia Bowman Chrome a Jose Pereza that was a standard. Tim Anderson. Forrest Wall for the Rockies. Got a Bowman first of Seth Sitho. Kind of got a weird facial expression going on there. Harold Ramirez. Nice. Ozzy Albies. Bowman first. Joe Ross, the younger brother, I believe, of David Ross, if I'm not mistaken. This is... Huh? That's miserable. We got a purple sparkly card. I'm not sure what to call it. I don't break enough of this product, but it is numbered to 50. Joe Ross, purple hey. parallel, if you will. You said David Ross's brother? Yeah. And that's the one who hit the home run? No, no, no. This is uh, the the other pitcher. I don't know if it's Joe Ross that pitches for the Nationals and got injured recently, but he has an older brother that's, I think, David Ross, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm getting confused. If Twitch chat is watching and would like to correct me, you're more than welcome to do so, but Joe Ross. A, another Boston Red Sox, Henry Owens, Bowman Scouts, numbered to 25, uh, top 100 prospect. Card itself is not numbered. Nate Smith for the Angels. Tyson Ross. That's who it is, Tyson Ross. Uh, Gareth, kind of a weird first name if you ask me. Gareth uh, Morgan. Alex Verdugo, now a Boston Red Sox. Did that trade go through for Mookie? But a lot of... See, that, that's going to be interesting if they actually let that happen. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Jacoby Jones. Hunter Dozier, that's cool. Bowman Chrome. I like how they put all the hits not, not just in the middle. 
Spread it out. Hunter Renfro. Bowman Chrome. Alex Cobb. Paul Goldschmidt. Ian Kennedy. Jose. And Christian Walker. Man, Bowman's fun. Bowman's a fun product times. I know we don't typically break it, but with it uh, potentially being released soon, maybe maybe that's on the horizon for us. That's right. All right. Nice. 2020 baseball tops heritage. Uh, also broke this a handful of times this year. I like it with the black border. Uh, I believe it's referencing the design from 1971. I'm, I just know that off the top of my head, Himes, I'm like an almanac. Just, uh, you know, the 71 number sticks in my head for some reason. We also broke it a few times. Uh, start off with uh, Chris Taylor for the Dodgers. Delano DeShields, now an Indian for the Rangers. Uh, Devon Solano, shortstop for the Giants. And a Dodgers, Josh Spores <laughs> and Tony Gosselin. A Patrick Senval and Matt Thice for the Angels. A Trevor Story. Omar Navarez for the Mariners. Oh, Mike Freeman. How could I forget? Such a great Indian. And Alec, Alex Dickerson. Let's check the back, as I believe that is the best way to... See what we get. I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but looks like 513 is common. All numbered to 513. So not even a short print in that pack. All right, so our last two hits of the break. Just want to say thank you for everybody for joining us again. And let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. A Ahmed Rosario, it's on a sticker autograph, numbered to 75. And this is a Topps Triple Threads Single Jumbo Relic. So looks like a piece of his game-used baseball bat for the New York Mets. Ahmed Rosario from a 2019 Triple Thread. David M21. David M21, congratulations on your hit. It is numbered to 75. It is pretty. Okay. And we're down to our last one. This will do it, Himes. A Beckett graded. Let's see what it's graded out of. It's a nine. And it is a thick card. I can see the thickness to it. Feel it. So I guess that probably is what contributed to that thick pack. Um, Let's do a little scrolling. A 2018 Tops five star. All right. So a 2018 card. A lot of good rookies in that year. And it's a top star or top tops five star signature. So we got an autograph. I like that. I like where this is heading. Uh, nine Beckett. Let's see what it is. I'm going to just do a full reveal. Just, oh, wow. just to really give it to y'all. Oh, wow. A Glavier Torres rookie card autograph. Wow. That is sweet for the Yankees. A Glavier Torres, number to 50. Is that on card? That is on card 
or the Yankees. Wow. Congratulations. That's Adam ten thirty twenty golf. Adam ten whatever numbers uh, golf. Congratulations. Man. Uh, it's got a number 10 on the back here for his autograph and a 9 on the card. I wonder why they created a 9. Probably doesn't. It gives you a breakdown. I know. I'm just looking at see if I can see something with my own naked eye before I see what the professional said. Uh, looks like centering and corners were the, the big ding. Otherwise, the edges and surface are 9.5s. So centering and corners, which corners look good to me but i don't get paid the big bucks to say that under a microscope yeah great looking card for adam golf and all those numbers in between congratulations on your torres autograph all right let's do ouch i just hit my ankle a run through of the hits in no particular order <clears throat> there you go six hits in three boxes the first is a Garrett Hampson out of 25 and that was a 2019 National Treasures with the triple swatch and multiple colors going to the Rockies a Ahmed Rosario number to 75 um 2019 as well triple threads with the jumbo relic from the game used bat material going to the Mets <clears throat> and we have here a Cody Bellinger from a 2017 flawless number to 25 on card autograph which we believe should be his rookie year that, my friends, is a great hit, if you ask this guy. But I would like to go on record saying this is probably my favorite, um, just because there's no show in terms of the card other than just the player and his, and his um, ability and worth, if you will. There's no signature or relic to, to boost, the gray, or boost the value. It's just his name. Um, PSA Mint 9 of a 2019 Bowman Wander Franco Paper Prospects Orange Parallel numbered to 25 for your Tampa Bay Rays. And a 2017 Bowman Chrome Mini of Alex Bregman, his rookie year. And this guy was not numbered, but it is a Gem Mint 9.5 by BGS going to the Houston Astros. And last but not least, the Glabier Torres, 2018 Tops 5-star signature. And this is out of 50 on card, his rookie year of 2018. Yankees getting a gorgeous-looking Glabier autograph. And that does it for our sports fantasy sports break number two case break. Um, again, I'm I'm impressed. I've, I'll say it for the second time. We got great hits in both of the breaks that we did for this product, and um, good chance we'll see more of it. I'm not quite sure when, but um, in due time, as we kind of mentioned earlier in the break that. The um, new products are going to start to be released here end of May, and that starts us off with, I believe, Himes, you've got a lot of static going on. Uh, it's uh, completely top bar. It's up the door. All right. Um, what I was saying was end of May, new products, and I believe the first that we're on the list for is um, Panini Select Baseball. So more than likely that'll be what we're breaking next Sunday. Not 100% sure. Um but just want to go ahead and give you guys a heads up on what we see coming through. And, uh, yeah, we, we hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, like I said, hopefully more of these in the future. Um, let me do a little closeout, and then, Himes, you can say your piece. Um, 
If you haven't already, please go and like us on all our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Facebook has a community where you guys can uh, discuss things or reach out to us um, and basically just, you know, support the own bearded community. Um, Instagram, where we showcase a lot of our hits. And Twitter, where we announce our Bearded Breakers Bolton and usually chime in on some current events within the hobby. And then last but not least, YouTube, where we post all of our break recordings onto for you guys to relive anytime you want. Um, but yeah, I'll say it again. Enjoyed this break for the second time. I hope you guys all did. And that does it for me. Himes, what would you like to say? Thank you for joining us during these times. Don't forget tonight, the last chapter of Last Dance. Right. Let's not miss those. And uh, yeah, stay safe. Thanks for uh, being with us. That's right. I'm said it. We appreciate it as always. Have a safe and good night.